Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. I wanted to talk about something today. And as y'all see as the title, it says God is real if you use his power. Now he real either way, but you know he real when you submit and use the power that he has shared with you. Now the scripture says that we are made in his image and after his likeness. He wants us to have power and dominion. Is that what the words say? Am I wrong? Now listen, I ain't the, I ain't the coldest with the scripture, but don't it say he wants us to have power and dominion? Well, what is power? Power, you know, in a dictionary, they say is the ability to do something. So you have the ability to do something, not react to it, not let life happen to you. You see, not let the world happen and you just take whatever the world gives us. Man, I got power, the ability to go do something. Mean I got a man, I got a will that he shared with me where I can go make something happen. We make it happen with women, brothers. Let you let you see a, a woman that you want. Boy, you're going you're gonna to use that will. You're going to use your words, ain't you? You're going to use your words. You're going to use people. Hey, can you put in a good word for the sister? Let her know, you know. You know, just let her know that, you know, I've been checking her out. You're going you, you to use people, your word, your wisdom, knowledge. Why we can't use that same creativity, that same creative power, that has been gifted to us by the God and make a better life for ourselves. Huh? That's all I'm saying. The same way if we homeless, man, listen, look at how many homeless people there is in the world, how they have the will to sit out on the corner with a sign and ask thousands of people every week, can I have 50 cents? Can I have a dollar? You got some change? Damn. What could we do if we say, you know what, instead of me, I ain't going to say, yeah, begging. If I created a product and I use that same desire to go ask a thousand people per week, how can I add value to you with my product? How much more money would we have? How much more better off? Would, but look, before we get in that condition of being homeless, we scared. We shy. I don't want to talk to nobody. I'm scared they're going to say no. I'm scared they're going to turn me down when you got a business. But when it's time for you, when you're homeless, you got to do it now to survive. Asking, hey, man, you got some change. And the guy, man, what if I use that same creative power? What if I use my knowledge, my wisdom, my understanding to create something that's going to impact somebody's life, but in return, I get compensation? Woo! God Almighty. That's all I'm saying, man. The man, listen, how many of us have, have said, now the Bible says, he said, be and it is, right? He said a word. He thought it and brought it into existence. Do y'all know we got that same power? We got that same power. But many of us we're not using the mind. The power. See, this is where he live. I don't listen. All that old. He up in the sky. He up in the sky, right? He's up elevated, right here. In, this is the temple right here. The temple that the real temple that God lives in is in between these two temples right here. Not that building that's made by bricks and stone and wood. Yeah, put a little, put a little. Uh, yeah, put some wood in there. Get you some bricks. So look, it's a house of God. No, you the real house of God. But you're not letting God use you that's already within. So you're not even using your creative mind. You're letting it go to you. You're letting it go to waste. God has given us a power to imagine things. I mean, listen, how do you think cars was made? 
How do you think the dang cell phone that you watching me on was made? How do you think this billboard I'm looking at was made? How do you think the computer that you got was made? It started, it was made here. It wasn't made in the lab. It wasn't made in the, 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 wherever they made the damn laptops and cell phones at. It wasn't made at that building. It was first made in the mind. Somebody had to imagine it, see it, believe it, and then they brought that thing into existence, boy. Now millions of people use cell phones. Millions of people use laptops. Millions of people are driving cars. But these cars first existed in the mind. And you won't even use your mind, man. Think about that. We talk about this God we serve. Oh, he's a faithful God. Oh, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. That's why them weapons is forming against you and they prospering. <laughs> hey, we always talk about no weapon formed against me. And you wondering what. And some of y'all, when that song come on, you be thinking in your head, well, damn, they prospering in my life. <laughs> say, say, you ever been in that position? I've been in that position before when I'm like, damn, they so starting to prosper around me. That's because I wasn't using the armor of God. See, the key is not just because I live that no weapon formed against me will prosper. No, 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 no. The reason they won't prosper is when I submit and I use the full body armor of God. But if I don't have on and I'm not with the armor of God, why wouldn't they prosper? Huh? So some of us, we losing in life in certain areas, but I can almost guarantee us, if we look in an area that we being defeated, I ignored the I ignored the voice of God. Now y'all can play with this message if you want to. This message for me too. I ain't saying like I'm old high. This message for me, as it's coming out my mouth, I'm hearing it. It's, it's for me. Every area that 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 is deficient is also probably deficient from our own disobedience. It's a, it's a word that came from within ourselves. It was a thought. There was a voice of God. There was the self-accusing spirit. And we disobeyed it. And we wondered why I'm in this condition. So when light has been brought to us, we can't blame life when we living in a time of darkness. I'm going to say that one more again. When light has been brought to us, what's light, Brother Ben? Wisdom from within yourself. Wisdom, that voice of God, self-accusing spirit from within your own mind. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that has been brought to you through another human being, and you rejected it. So when that light has been presented and offered to you, and you choose to disobey it, don't be blaming the white man. Don't blame life. Don't blame the Arabs. Don't blame everybody else. We can't blame nobody but us. For living in darkness when light has been brought to us. So listen, man, I just wanted to make this video to inspire. Now I know everybody gonna listen. Somebody gonna listen to this. Oh, this this young nigga don't know what he's talking about. I ain't feeling man. Let me so I know we always gonna have that. But I'm this the purpose of this video is to touch that one person that's listening and saying, damn. Man, I really haven't been exercising my own power. Man, I really haven't been exercising the true and living God. I'm talking about that's with there. And not, not a no sky now. I ain't talking about no sky daddy. No, we're not talking about sky daddy. We talking about the true and living God. Force and power within you and within others and the supreme being. But we haven't been submitting to it. We ain't tried out the real God. We've been waiting on the mystery God that's going to pay our bills. And we think some mystery God going to come change our whole condition and we ain't got to do nothing. No, you that ain't mathematics right there. If you won't change, we got to change. Because God works through the human being. Spirit, yes, he is spirit, but the spirit is dependent on the material. So the, so the spirit dwells within the material, so we got to submit and make sure that we operate on his spirit. 
And when we move in with his spirit, we're able to say things. We're able to have certain convictions. We're able to have and make certain connections that's going to bring about the lifestyle that we desire. But if you don't even desire a better life, why do you expect a different life to come? Some of us living in a home that you know you wish you lived in a better home. And because you have given up on the God within, you have become mediocre, man. You have become complacent with where you living, knowing damn well you want a bigger shower. Ain't nothing wrong with having a bigger shower. Knowing damn well you ready for a new car. You know you need a new stove. And you have tricked yourself. You have allowed Satan, the devil, from within, I ain't talking about nothing without, to com- to trick yourself to be complacent with really lack and a little bit of nothing. When God has said, hey, man, I come so that you may have, or Jesus said, I have come so that you may have life more abundantly. And we look at our own lives and we settle for crumbs. We settle for crumbs like Lazarus. We settling for crumbs. And we're supposed to be God's children. What? We're supposed to be gods. Children of the most high God. And we settling for look for little crumbs? Man, we have tripped ourselves into wanting nothing. To be complacent with nothing. No, man, set them standards high. Something for you to strive for. Give yourself a reason and a purpose for waking up. Damn, if we ain't got no purpose. If we ain't got no new goals that we want to hit, I don't credit you 50, 60, 70. Oh, man, I done lived my life. If you don't live your life, man, you might well check out. Next time you get sick, don't go to the hospital. Next time you get sick, don't take now another medicine. Go and check out then if you don't live your life. But if you still got breath and you still breathing, man, you need to still be striving for bigger goals. And if you ain't got no better goals for yourself, go help somebody else strive for their goals. But you shouldn't be complacent just sitting around wait, waiting to die. Hell, if that's all you're going to do next time you get sick, don't even go to the hospital. Just go on and check out. But no, man, if you still got life in your body, you should have, man, I got, man, I ain't hit all my goals yet. I want to do this. I want to go here. I want to do this. This is life, man. We supposed to enjoy it. We already going to experience pain, struggle, and difficulty. That's 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 going to happen. That's going to happen. So I don't care how successful you is. At a certain age, your back going to start hurting. Knees going to get a little weak. Your step going to get a little slower. See? Something going to happen. Your, all of our bodies are going to break down. So if we already know struggle and difficulty is ordained, why are we adding on to it? Why don't we try to live the best we can live if we already know difficulty is around the corner? No, I'm not No, I'm not being complacent with difficulty. I'm trying to get up out the difficulty. I'm trying to get up out the struggle because I know even when I get out this struggle, another struggle is coming. So why am I going to just lay down and let struggle just beat me up? No, man, you get up. Get your butt up. I don't know who I'm talking to, man, but hey, woo, I feel like I'm talking to somebody. Get your butt up. If you sitting on the bed stealing your boxers, brothers, get your butt up and put some pants on. Sisters, if you're watching me in your bra and panties and you ain't did no work today, get on up and get to work. Go. If you ain't got no work to do, Google something. Google, Google another way to be effective. Google uh, how to help somebody. Google how to add value. If you just now waking up and you ain't brush your teeth this morning, you still got boogers in your eyes, come on, get up. Wash your face. Do some jumping jacks. Move your body. Get that blood flowing. Let's go to work, man. I mean, man, there's so many people in the hospital. They don't have the, man, listen, they don't have the ability to move, man. There's people who's paralyzed. There's people who's paralyzed. They don't have the ability to move. You got the ability to move and you ain't moving? Shoot. There's people who brain dead. They got shot in the head, man. Somebody got to feed them through a tool. They can't think. And you got a mind and you ain't thinking? You got a brain and you're not planning a better life for yourself? What are you doing? 
you might well trade places with the man who want to have a dream, who want to do better, but he can't because he brain dead. You, you might well switch brains with him. You might well trade minds with him if you're going to have a mind and you ain't going to think. You're going to have a brain and you ain't going to plan. You ain't going to construct nothing better for your life. You might well go and trade brains with somebody. Real, man. I'm keeping it real. We sitting here struggling. And we think we ain't got no way out of the struggle. We got plenty of ways out the struggle. It's somebody overseas going through way more than you going through. They ain't even got no car. They got to walk to the store. They got to grow their own food. Or they got to find something in the trash can. And we talking about we just all destroy. Man, man, hell. If you got a cell phone right now, you ain't struggling that bad. If you watch, if you got Wi-Fi, your bills paid, man, you better be, I want you to first be grateful. Before we think about all the struggles and bad things that's happening, be grateful. Lord, I got eyes. Ooh, I can see. I can read. Ooh, thank you, Lord. I got ears today, man. I can hear a good message. And it can convict me to be different. Oh, thank you, Lord, for my heart that is still beating. Thank you, God, for my feet, all 10 of my toes. Thank you, Lord, for all my fingers. You gave me so many assets, so many things I can use to make my life better. So first, be grateful for all you do have before you think about what you don't have. Maybe if, you, maybe if we was more grateful about what we had, we would see all the assets that's in our hands that we're not using. We'll see all the little things that we have that we just not using to make our life better. You feel me? So listen, man. Uh, I just seen somebody say it ain't easy. Guess what? It ain't never going to be easy. Working hard to make a better life for yourself ain't easy. And guess what? Laying down and ain't doing nothing, letting life beat me up, that ain't easy either. Which one you want to pick? Which one do you want to pick? Eating vegetables and fruits and eating healthy don't taste good. It's a little hard. It ain't easy to make that switch. But guess what? Being sick in the hospital, can barely breathe, obese, about to die in six months. That ain't easy either. So I would rather, man, pick your heart. Pick, pick, which, pick, which, pick which one you want to go with. Trying to learn about economics and financial literacy. That's not easy. It's going to take a long time because we wasn't taught. But staying dumb, staying stupid, and I'm not saying we stupid, but I'm just going off the definition. Staying ignorant to finances, that ain't easy either. So which one we want to be with? Maintaining the household, making enough money for the rent, making enough money for the mortgage, that ain't easy. But being homeless, having nowhere to stay, that ain't easy either. So which one you going to pick? You see what I'm saying? We got to start switching our mindset and having a better mindset and a better perspective about where we at in life right now. Dying ain't easy, but I, boy, I said I sure would rather be struggling here than, than not having breath in my body, being in the grave, riding let the maggots eat me. I rather, I'm so grateful that God still got me here. I got another day. I got another chance and a choice. So y'all share this video with somebody, man, that you love. If y'all don't mind, just share it. Tag somebody in this video and say, man, just watch this video. Because I just want to inspire somebody. I, I want somebody to comment back on this live and say, Brother Ben, man, that live you did, brother, ooh, that inspired me. I went and changed my life from that day forward. That's all. I, I just want somebody to hit me on Instagram. Bro, brother Ben X on Instagram. Not all the fake pages. Just Brother Ben X all by itself. I want somebody to email me. BrotherBenX at gmail.com. Write my email down. BrotherBenX at gmail. I just want somebody to email me and say, Brother Ben, boy, after that lie, woo, I went and changed my life, brother. I changed my habits. I changed my behaviors. Woo, boy, I went to a whole nother level. So if somebody can do that for me, that's all the payback I want from this live. I don't need your money, no nothing. I just want you to say, brother, I went and changed my life. Okay? So y'all send this out to somebody, tag somebody. And y'all have a black-tastic day.